So as a teen and in my early 20s, when I was trying to figure out things, I held a lot of stupid ideas, as most of us do. And I had trouble with the concept of ideology. At first, I thought it was good to hold an ideology, to believe in ideals. But later, I found out that was wrong. Ideologies are appealing to people because they hold an air of inclusivity. It is tribal in nature, and we are tribal species. Christianity versus Islam, left versus right, Republican versus Democrat, and so on and so forth. And within those ideologies are a set of beliefs, and they never change. Therefore, if you believe in an ideology, you must believe every idea within that ideology. Usually, if one or more of those ideas within the framework don't stand up to scrutiny and evidence, then the whole ideology crumbles. So if you become incredulous to the ideology, in most cases, the in-group will rebuke you, or before modern times, murder you, for straying from the belief system. Those who believe in that ideal framework will fight tooth and nail to defend it. And what I've noticed is that people who are ideological are never open to debate, never able to scrutinize their own ideas. And I do not like people like that, especially men. Men are supposed to be rational, able to think things through, challenge ideas. And so often you find these men, mostly online, who won't even have a cordial discussion with you. They shut down all rational debate and attack with ad hominem, often getting emotional. They attack you if you criticize their beliefs when you are just trying to have a discussion. They shut down all rationality. They become women, essentially. Just talk. Just debate. There's no reason to be upset. The world won't end if your ideas are criticized. You can still believe in that idea. You can show evidence to the contrary to my idea. Show evidence to defend your idea. Those who believe in an ideology can be dangerous. They are usually obdurate and myopic, not willing to scrutinize their own beliefs. Many times they resort to violence. Look at the history of Europe. Violence pervaded the Middle Ages until Europe reached the age of reason in the 18th and 19th century. During that time, ideas that were long thought were true crumbled under rational thought and science. It was one of the most peaceful times in European history because reason prevailed, superstition and mysticism was outed. The reason I'm making this video is because I watched a few videos recently about the red pill and the black pill movements. The YouTube creators spoke of the movements as ideologies, which confused me. I thought red pilled, blue pilled, black pilled, even MGTOW were movements. You know, the MGTOW movement. The blue pill movement is living as a slave to the powers of be, people who are under the umbrella of an inculcation by media, public school, society, etc., being blind to the truth. And the red pill movement is escaping that indoctrination, right? Black pilled, as I understand it, means a form of red pilled, but dealing with more controversial, dark issues, maybe conspiracy theories. I, I'm not privy to the black pilled movement. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments below. Same with MGTOW. I thought MGTOW was an action, going MGTOW, as it were. A reactionary movement to feminism and the modern state. I didn't know men were beginning to treat it as an ideology. MGTOW, especially just starting off, was men leaving the plantation as they saw it. It was men going their own way and focusing on self-improvement, their careers, saving money. Not necessarily an ideology, not necessarily a concrete set of beliefs. But I guess now stepping out of that ideology means you're no longer part of the group because the majority said so. And I don't necessarily agree with that. I understand. We are a tribal species and tend to coalesce with people who think and look like us. So we cling on to that inclusivity. I get that. But we have evolved to be rational creatures. We must rise above our impulses and instincts. I want to warn people about this, not to get swept up in ideological talk but instead scrutinize every idea, put it against evidence and reason, and then make your judgment. We are all MGTOW, those men who have taken the red pill and woken up to the societal oppression upon men. MGTOW should be, and always be, men going their own way. Not necessarily a set of concrete beliefs, but a man self-improving, a man stepping out of society and doing what is best for him.